Um, Milton Keynes uh, is a growing city, and, and that is really, uh, at least in terms of the UK, is Milton Keynes in somewhat unique. And uh, MK Smart as a smart city project is trying to uh, enable the natural growth that happens at the same time and deliver uh, benefits to communities and citizens on the ground. So we're looking at water issues, uh, transportation issues and energy issues and we're looking at how we can use digital technologies to improve the delivery of these kind of services. Now MK Smart is defined as a project uh, that actually has very concrete benefits for its citizens. But understanding the, the local issues and understanding where we should focus is very important. Community Action MK plays a very important role in this because as a university we don't necessarily have the footprint in the community and we don't have the understanding of the community. And Community Action MK really understands communities and is in the business of helping communities. It's important that we engage the citizens of Milton Keynes because we want people promoting their own ideas and we know that when people are involved in developing ideas, other people's ideas as well as their own, those people become committed to making those ideas work. So if we want to have an improvement in energy consumption, in transport within Milton Keynes, and we want that to be sustained beyond the end of the project, then we need people who are going to push those initiatives forward. And the thing that really underlies our ability to engage with citizens on the ground is our value of going and finding out from people what's on their mind. And I think it's that that uh, enables citizens to communicate with us in an honest and op open way. Um, so we've been working on the ground with people in their, in their communities. We've been going out, um, reaching local community events, um, activities that are already running, so that we can hear about people's ideas and what, they, what their issues are about transport, energy and water. We've been hosting some workshops, so bringing people together in different locations. Um, we've been able to bring people's ideas together and also um, help them develop their ideas into some, some feasible projects that could actually get funding. As part of MK Smart, we developed a new website uh, which is called Our MK, uh, which was designed by the Open University together with Grey Matter and Community Action MK. And this website is, is, a, is a platform for people to come together to uh, brainstorm about new ideas and to submit uh, proposals for what we call citizen projects. We look at project ideas and when we're assessing whether or not they should win some funding, uh, we're thinking about four things. We're thinking about, one is, is what they're, they're proposing, is the project relevant? So is it going to make a difference in terms of energy, water, communication, transport? And we added environment and health. So they kind of, the, the underlying strap line would be, is it going to make Milton Keynes a better place to live in? So um, I first found out about the RMK competition and the Smart MK competition because I was looking for some funding for the urban farm I was hoping to start. Uh, it came up as one of the funding opportunities. Um, and then I spoke to the, the funding team. They felt that maybe creating um, an independent food scene and collecting some data on that food scene would be quite a good idea. So um, that's when I put in the application for the food passport. So I've been working with a couple of different people from Community Action MK. Uh, they've all been super lovely and helpful. Uh, once I knew that I was potentially in the zone where my application would maybe be accepted, um, they gave me an advisor who uh, was fantastic. We had quite a long chat about the questions that I had and how she felt Community Action would be able to help me in the long run. 
Um, I've been involved with a couple of different food initiatives over the last couple of years, uh, but it's really brilliant to be able to do something local, which will really make a difference to the whole of Milton Keynes. It's the start of a big adventure for me, and I hope that it's going to keep on giving for the next couple of years. I think what's been rewarding is that we have been able to see people right from just having an issue, actually transforming that into a, an idea and a solution, and then moving it on to, you know, they can take it forward into doing something about it, so putting it on the website, or actually coming along to a, a workshop um, about projects and advice for how to, you know, develop your project, and then in some cases um, actually applying and being awarded funding. We engage our citizens in bringing their ideas to reality and in fact it is about, uh, about human beings exploiting technology to make their life in cities better but actually when it comes down to it, it's really about pushing the, the power down to people. So we exploit the technology, the technology doesn't exploit us. We use the technology to improve our lives. Those are the things that we want to continue. We want that process of citizen innovation and empowerment to be a fundamental part of living and working in Milton Keynes.